I am Gina Coburn. I am here to teach senior fitness class for you today. Um, I've been teaching exercise, senior fitness exercise primarily for the last 17 plus years. So um, hopefully you'll find some new moves that you'll enjoy today. What I would suggest that we start out with is um, just have some weights handy, uh, a band. Now I have one that doesn't have handles. If you want to use one that does, that's fine. I'll give you modifications as we go through on how to hold on to that. Also, if you have a ball handy, great. We're going to use that as well. So just work with grip strength with that ball. Now, if you don't have a ball handy, um, it works great to, you can hold a water bottle or you can also just use a towel, tie a little knot in a towel, hand towel or something like that, or just hold it and it works great also. So, all right, let's get going. Just do what you can. As always, I don't know what physical limitations any of you have, so just we're just here to play together. You do, I can't see you. So you do whatever you can do. All right, let's march it out. And start. Okay. Just that mic a little bit. Yeah. All right, take it out wide. All right, back in. Now, if you ever find that as we're going through class, that you need to sit down, use that chair, and sit down whenever you need to. Okay? It's all about you doing you. All right, heels in front. Bicep curls. Great job. We're just trying to get our bodies warmed right now. Good, now heels out to the side. Still keeping that bicep curl, abs in. Good, now back to the march. Okay, this time we're gonna take our feet out, or they're gonna go back, and at kind of at a little bit of a diagonal, you're gonna swing your arms. So we're gonna swing those arms back, tap that foot back, and what I'm trying to do is get you to stretch out your hip flexors a little bit. Good movement. The importance of stretching out your hip flexors is a lot of times we spend a lot of time sitting down, watching TV, get on those Netflix series, you can sit there for hours and hours. So trying to stretch those areas. All right, now tap it out to the side, arms come shoulder height. Now, if you find that you're one of those people that has a lot of shoulder problems, I mean, I, there's so many different things that could go on, I want you to take it a little bit lower, okay? So just keep it down. If you can take it up to that shoulder height, do so. Now if you can take the arms up even higher, go for it. We're just increasing that heart rate. Keep it going. Back to shoulder height. March it in. All right, now instead of the heels in front, we're just gonna take a little tap. Opposite elbows coming across the body. Just tap, and that arm in. Good. Now you can keep it right here. It's a good for a warm up. If you want to increase that heart rate a little bit more, if you wanna lift those knees, go for it. Nice, keep it up. I'm going to take it even higher and lift those arms. Everybody's different. March it in. Okay, single step touch. Let's take it over, hands on your hips. Now I'm just going to change the arms as we go along. Again, you might find something that doesn't feel good to your shoulders or arms in some way. Don't do it, find something else we already did. All right, now reach forward, pull back. Good. And one foot behind the other. Back to the step touch. Hands on your hips. 
This time, one arm's in front, one arm's behind. Keep your body moving, that's the key. Burning those calories, keep the body moving. Good, back to that reach in front, pull in. Okay, this time instead of stepping back, we're gonna cross one foot in front. So it crosses over. So I'm just taking that heel to the floor. Back to that step, touch. This time we're gonna add in an upright row. Now, the row's gonna start low and it's like you're pulling your pants on real high. Don't pull them that way. Good, elbows out to the side. All right, we're gonna add a leg curl in. The leg is there, the heel's gonna curl back up toward your rear. Or you can keep this lower too. You don't have to have those elbows shoulder height. Can I keep the leg curls going? Hands on your hips. Now we're gonna reach up. The leg that's curling, that arm's gonna reach up. Good. Just stretch that arm as high as you can. Or reach down in front. This works great too. It's a great modification. We've had shoulder issues. Keep those legs curling. So we're stretching out the quad, the front of your leg, and then we're working that hamstring in the back of your leg. And march it in. Okay, so hopefully you're getting warmed up a little bit more now. We're gonna take one foot in front, so I'm gonna the right wing in front, kind of march it forward, right heel down, hips are back. I want you to reach your right arm out shoulder height. Okay, deep breath in, fill your lungs. Exhale, reach it out. Breathe in. So you can see I'm bending one knee, straightening the other. Good. And now, with that foot in front, just want you to tap your toe. Now side to side, side to side. And just kind of loosen it up in the hip again. Get your calves. Back to center tap. Okay, now, right stays, left comes back. So you've got a split stance of runner's lunge. I know when the camera's hitting me straight on, you kind of can't see that. So I'm in a runner's lunge. Once you take your shoulders and roll those back. Okay, now with your arms down by your side, you're gonna rock forward onto that back toe and then sit back into it. So you're rocking forward, rocking back. Now if you can lift that back foot, go ahead and lift. If you wanna keep the foot on the floor, just do that rocking motion that we started with. Reach, reach, reach. Okay, take it up, and we're gonna hold it this time. The arms come out, we're gonna drop that foot. Now I want you to make almost like a half circle. So you're gonna come and tap in front, tap back, tap front, tap back. So you can touch that floor every time. Make sure this balance knee is bent. Okay, you don't wanna lock anything out. Yeah, that just means the quad, the front of your thigh is doing a lot of that work. Now the other thing that you can do is if you feel like you've got pretty good balance, you're gonna challenge it a little bit, go ahead and lift that foot off the ground so it's suspended. And rest. Good. March down. Now some of you may feel that, that that leg gets some work. That's what your balance leg is really getting a lot of that work. Okay, that's what we want. So we gotta even you out. Let's go to the other side. So just march it forward. Okay, heel down, hips back. Remember, you're bending one leg, the other leg is straight. Reach that arm out, shoulder height. And deep breath in. And exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Let's go one more. Breathe in. Exhale, hold it there. Hands on your hips, tap and set. Just like we did on that other side. Side to side, left right. Great. 
back to center. Okay, now that left stays, right comes back. Again, we're rolling those shoulders. We're in that runner's lunge where most of that weight's on that front leg. Back leg's there for balance. Okay, arms by your side. Here we go. Let's take them up to your ears. Come up on that back toe. Great. Now, when you're ready, lift that back foot. So I'm exhaling as my arms are coming up. Two more. All right, now take it up and hold it. We're going to find your balance again. Okay, so arms out. We're going to drop the leg. Okay, so that right foot. So now we're going to tap in front and then tap back. So remember how we're bending the balance leg. The other one's on the move. Good, keep your core in, shoulders back nice and tall. If you want to suspend, try to lift that foot a couple inches off the floor is plenty. it out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take your feet out a little wider. We're going to go to the shoulder roll, so we're just going to um, open up the shoulders. We're going to start and you're going to go to a tap. The shoulder comes forward, then back. Good. Now if you can lift that elbow and that feels comfortable for you, take it there and just stay where we were before. Now we're going to backstroke it. Reach it up. Opening up the chest. Come back to that elbow. And shoulder roll. Two more. Okay, now take those feet out a little bit wider. We're going to come down. Now, my lower body is staying put. I'm not moving that at all. All I'm going to do is take that right shoulder and drop it. Okay, so the right hand is pressing into that inner part of my leg. Not right at my knee, a little bit higher than your knee. And switch. What does this do? It helps stretch out your back. And if you're like me, that's one area I've struggled with. Off and on. Good, and switch. Back to center now, round it, come up one vertebrae at a time, roll those shoulders back. All right, march it in, deep breath, and exhale. I want you to take your hands, lace them if you can behind your back. We're just going to press it down. If you can lift away from your body, go ahead and lift away from your body. So it's just opening up the chest, you'll feel the stretch in the biceps too, some of your shoulders maybe. Release, breathe it in, and exhale. Good. Now the one thing I realized as I was talking, um, or before, I didn't mention that you really need to have water. It is so, so, so important. You may need water and you may need a towel. Your sweater. Yours truly. I don't have a towel. So it's going to get interesting. Um, go ahead and grab a drink. And then what I want you to do is we're going to come back and we're going to do a little bit more cardio in this spot. So I'm going to try to take you up higher, get a little cardio, and then go to weights. And then we'll go up higher, and then we'll use the bands, and then we'll go up higher and use the ball. So we're kind of, I want that interval training. So grab a drink. Okay, come on back. March it out when you're ready. All right, we're going to tap it out, tap one side. So one arm's bent, one arm straight. Keep it here. Good, now if you want to reach across, shoulder height, reach across. So one foot's tapping, that is the same arm that's actually reaching across your body. It can get confusing sometimes. Same arm, same leg, are on the move. One's tapping, one's reaching. But just think that arm crosses over the midline of your body. Now up at the diagonal, so now you're reaching that up. If you need to stay shoulder height because that feels better, stay there. And 
back, across, across, across. Now up at that diagonal, back to across, across. And up. Good, two more, across, across. Two more through that series. That's one, all right. March it in. All right, we're going to take the heels in front, arms are lifting up, chest high. So here, I'm a snapper, so figure you get a little added bonus. I'm not snapping, working those hands. Do what works for you. You'll hear me say that a lot. Kick it up. Now it's a knee lift. Can't get that knee all the way. Sometimes with hip problems you can't, so you might just alternate and do more of a tap. Just come on your toe instead. March it. Okay, single step touch. Hands on your hips. Okay, now we're going to take a chest press in front. So as the arms Come, I want you to cross right over left, then left over right. It's just as those feet come together, so do your hands. They cross. Okay, now press them down. Again, you're still crossing in front. Right over left, then left over right. Back up, chest height. Keep going. Okay, now if you're able, take those arms up. So in a sense, it's kind of a modified jumping jack. Only we're just taking the step touch. Takes all that jumping out of it. If you can do jumping jacks and you want to add it in, go for it. And if you have shoulder problems, it may be better for you to keep those elbows in close, just moving the hands. That works great and it takes that shoulder up. Now I'm going to add the leg curl in. So curl it back. Remember, heels going toward your rear. Knee kind of points down toward the ground. Alright, so keep this going, but the arms are going chest tight. Sit down. March it in. Okay, we're going to take that right foot in front. We're going to take the knee lift with a leg curl. So it's more of a rocking horse. That's what we call it. So knee lift, leg curls. From the side, a little easier to see. Now, modifications. What can you do? You can take it a tap, just here to keep it lower. If you want to take a higher, take your arms higher, because any time your arms are up over the head, your heart rate's going up. So you decide. March it in. Okay, we're going to take our feet out a little wider. Now, this is a little, little faster move, and if you have your feet bother you, you may just want to take and just alternate a lift of your heels. Okay, but if you could come down, play a little defense. I'm from Kansas City, so we Chiefs, you know, who won, so hopefully some of you are from Kansas City too. All right, take those hands out, do a little football drill. Here we go. Move those feet. This is going to spike your heart rate up too. That's what we want. And rest. So you may have made it through the whole thing. You might have had to take a little break. That's fine. March left. Okay, so taking that left leg in front. Now it's the one we're going to take that rocking horse. So I need leg curls. Again. 
One knee's up, the other one's crawling back. Keep going. Modify if you want to take that that lower level. Remember, it's just a tap, keeping the arms low. Tap the toe, tap the toe. Want it higher? Get those arms up. Try to keep your elbows in front of you. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, march it in. All right, deep breath. And exhale. Doing great so far. Go ahead, grab a drink, and then we're gonna go to, to um, your weights next. If you don't have dumbbells at home, you can use cans, you can use cans of beans, vegetables, any kind of vegetables, any soups, whatever. Or you can also use water bottles, um, different sizes will work. Make sure the lid is on nice and tight. Okay, grab a drink. Okay, we're gonna start with our feet a little more than hip distance apart, shoulders back, abs in. Going into a squat, we're gonna to go to right to a curl. So, it's gonna be squat down, curl, hammer, curl. So from the side, you wanna make sure when you're doing a squat that your rear is going back, those knees not going way over your toes, and as you come up, just keep those elbows in, the end of that weight comes right to the front of the shoulder. Okay, so um, what I see a lot in class, is that people will take their hips forward and guess what all that pressure goes right on your knees so you really have to be careful to shift weight back so when i'm talking to push your butt toward that back wall i need it get back in those heels here we go squat and curl squat curl okay so go low as you come up you're exhaling breathe in on the way down breathe in exhale breathe in exhale Breathe in, exhale. Good. If you're one of those people, like most of the people in my classes, that don't really like squats, I always tell them they're just so good for you. You're gonna be squatting your whole life. You gotta get off the chair, you gotta get off the toilet, you gotta get off all those things. Get out of your car. So for you to stay mobile, guess what? Those quads have got to work. You need to squat, keep going. You need a break, take a break. And rest. Nice work. Okay, I want you to take your right foot in front. Left foot back. Again, split stance. So from the side angle, front knees bent, back leg straight. You're going to reach in front of the knee and pull those weights back toward the outside of your hip. Alright. Here we go. Tap, pull back. Tap, pull back. Now, what you may find, and be careful of this, if you have a slippery floor, and your foot's moving, be very careful. Okay, you can probably get to carpet or a rug or something, it's probably a little better. Now, as I'm pulling back, I'm gonna take my elbows back as far as I can and squeeze between your shoulder blades. That's where you wanna squeeze. And rest. All right, we're gonna go the same thing, other leg. All right, so lean into that front leg. Ready, here we go. Tap in front, pull back. Remember you're exhaling every time you're pulling back. Breathe in as those weights are coming in front of that knee. Great job. And rest. All right, go back to the squats because I like them. All right, this time, when you come up from your squat, we're just going to change the curl. So, going into that squat, same way, coming up, and you're going to see your fingernails as you look down toward your, toward your weights, okay? So, that's the only thing that I'm changing. Shoulders back, ass in, push your rear back. Squat, rotate the curl. Squat, rotate the curl. Breathe in, exhale up. Breathe in, down. exhale up. That last four. And 
and rest. Okay, now for the triceps, so we got the front of our arms with the biceps. What we're gonna do for triceps is I want you to take your feet together, you're gonna bend your knees, elbows come back nice and high. Okay, the elbows stay in place. The only thing that moves, watch my arms, is that lower arm. See how that's kind of a pendulum swing, but the elbow is up the whole time. Keep that elbow up there. Good. Straightening your arm is where we get that work. So you want to straighten those arms. Keep the elbows up there. That's four, three, Two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, step one, that roll down. Put it on your chair. Feet are a little wider this time. Okay, when we do this squat, it's more of a plie, so I want your toes going toward the corners of the room. Weight, you're holding on to the outsides of the dumbbell, okay? I want you to take it down, and you're just gonna take it up shoulder height. Okay, so when you're looking in front, I don't want you, that way it shouldn't go in front of your field of vision, okay? Just take it to your chin. What happens when it comes up higher is you actually get a break, which is why you're gonna to wanna to do it. So, watch me underneath the chin. All right, plie, here we go. Down into the squat, bring it up. Down. Breathe in, exhale up. So we're getting the front of the shoulders, as you're in this squat, you might feel a little bit more of your inner thigh, okay? That's what happens when we take those toes out. Now, if you're feeling extra pressure in the knee, I want you to just adjust your toes slightly. Slight movement in those toes can make a big difference on anything you feel in the knee. And rest. I know this is senior stuff. I really like squats. You can do it. Okay, one foot in front, I don't care which one. You have modifications on this. We are reaching this one weight. You're gonna reach it up like you're reaching for the top shelf to grab plates down or something, okay? So we're gonna reach it up, down. Those of you with shoulder trouble, you may be able to reach to here. And that is fine. Do what's in your scope, your range of motion. Now, if you're here, you're gonna reach it up and you can go to one leg, great. Go to that balance move. Balance is so important. Now switch legs, keep going. If you take that break, take the break. Oh, uh, last four, we got this. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, go ahead and set the weights down. We're going back to cardio, so grab a drink too. If you've been avoiding getting longer, go get it. Okay. I'm just going to march for a sec so you can make sure you get your drink. All right. Keep it going. Okay, hopefully all of our drinkers are back now. Okay, we're going to tap the foot back and reach the arm out in front. So tap back, stretch it out. Reach, reach. Feel an abs are pulled in. Nice. Modify if that reach doesn't feel right. If you could take a kick back, I want you to kick it. Now, when you're kicking, what I see a lot of people do is do a leg curl. I want your leg straight on this one. Okay, so try to straighten it out. If you have a leg straight, you'll go into the glutes, and that's what we're working. All right, march it in. Okay, double step touch this time. So let's start with those hands on your hips. Here we go. Double it over, double back. Double. Now you can keep it here without the hands in, that's fine. I'm gonna add that reach, reach. You wanna add that little hip movement? Good, go for it.
Now we're just going to take the arms up. Gonna feel that stretch a little bit more in the abs. If you're off on the beat ever, it doesn't matter. If you're in your own living room or wherever you are at your house. I'm watching it. Okay, we're gonna take the feet out a little bit wider. Okay, we kind of do these in warm up. So we're just gonna expand on this a little bit, but the feet are gonna be wider this time. So I want you to take a knee lift. The knees go to the opposite elbow. So it's here. Okay, see how my feet are out wider this time? Okay, I'm keeping them out wider. Good. Now that elbow, that leg's cross, the elbow's crossing over to reach up toward the knee. If you can want to take those arms all the way up, more cardio. Good. Keep those feet wide. Good. Two more. March it in. Okay, now we're going to take a step back if you can. All right, from here, I want you to just take a tap out to the side. Arms are going out shoulder height. So it's here. Now we're going to move it forward. So it's up, 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 up. Now back. And up. Back. You want to stay put, that's fine. Depending on how much space you've got. Now reach one arm up at a time as you're tapping. Same arm, same leg. Up, 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 back. And keep going. Up, up, back. March it in. Great job. Okay, from here, we're going to take that step touch, so take it over. All right. Now we're going to take the arms down first. So down, then middle, then up, middle. Down, middle, up, middle. Down, middle, up, middle. Down, middle, up, middle. Again, down, middle, up, middle. Down, middle. Middle, last one, down, middle, up, middle, down, middle, up, march it. Good, now go ahead and grab a drink and we're going to grab the band. Okay, so if you have a long band that doesn't have handles, it's not a big deal to let them kind of fall down where they may. If you have one with handles, I want you to reach down. Grab a hold of that, that part of the handle that has the plastic on it. I want you to put it on like a bracelet. It's usually like a little triangle. Put your hand through like a bracelet and then grab onto the colored part of the band. You want to be about, um, about a foot to two foot feet apart. Kind of depends on the level of your band. Okay, so we're going to squat out to the side. It's going to look like this. We're going to squat, bring our feet together, squat together. Squat, squat. That's it, keep going. Now, shoulder, if you have shoulder issues, you're taking it down. You want to make it harder, you walk your hands closer together along the band. You want to make it easier, you walk them farther apart. Good, keep going. Let's go one more. And rest. Okay, from here, you're going to hold out a little wider. Okay, I want you to take your arms up. Remember, if you have the handles, this is really important to have that handle around your wrist, okay? Don't let it swing, because if it hits you in the eye, it's not a good time. My son tried it once, I don't recommend it. Okay, we're gonna take those arms up. Again, if you're able, 
If you need to come from this position, take your hands out wider and pull back. That's fine, that protects the shoulders. Here we go. Down underneath the chin, down. Walk it in if you need it tighter. Breathe in at the top, exhale down. Breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale. One more, good. All right, take it down, put it underneath your left foot this time. We had the right leg in front last time. Let's take that left. Okay, from here, again, if you have the handles, you're just going to use the actual handle, okay? And pull up from there. If you've got one without, just one of the long bands, just grab a hold of it so where your thumb's kind of on top. Okay, curls here. Here we go. Elbows in, curl and down. Curl and down. Curl and down. Bounce on my foot if you want. I won't stop you. Again, I'm just get up as high as you feel like you can. If it gets too hard, go one arm at a time. We've got four more. Two. And one. Good job. Take it around your back. Okay, so this time we're coming around your back, under your arms. Okay, under those arms. That towel, I forgot what it came in handy on. Okay, so. Back to, you know what, I'm going to switch it. I mean, I'm not going to take any squats. I want you to take a reverse lunge. Okay, so this time with the reverse lunge, again, everything has modification. If you don't want to come down into that bend where you're taking that back knee to the floor, not to the floor, to the back knee toward the floor, and alternating them, you just come and take a step back. Okay, that works fine. If you've had knee replacement or you need one, hips, I just had a hip done. So believe me, I, I know. You have that modification for all things. Okay, so we're going to take the reverse lunge with that right foot, so it's going to be back. Then I want you to take a chest press in front. Back and in front. Okay, reverse, up, reverse, up, reverse. I'm going to get caught. Reverse. We went in a tangle. Nice, reverse, up. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale up. And rest. Great job. Okay, keep it behind your back. We're going to take that step touch. So take it over. This time we're pushing out to the side. Okay, so again, shoulder high. Pushing it out. Okay, so now you can stay here and just bring those toes in. Or you can take one across. The heel comes across. Keep it up. Feel those shoulders, take a break. Just got one more. And watch it. Super. Go ahead and take the band. We're going to set it down, grab a quick drink. Okay, if you have a ball, or like I said, if you have a um, ball works great, or a towel, or a water bottle, grab one of those. Again, water bottle, I've tried it before without the lid done, on nice and tight, so make sure the lid's on. Okay, we've got the ball, we're going to march it. Now from here, just take it out in front, bring it back in. Okay, so you're squeezing. So what we're trying to do is work those hands. Great for your hands, wrists, opening up those jars that gets harder and harder every year. If you have arthritis and it bothers you to do this, you want to move it to some degree, you really do. So you want to try to challenge yourself. So the ball is great because it's nice and soft. Most people can use that ball pretty easily. And rest. Now take your feet out wide. Okay, from here, I'm going to take that ball on that right side. I want you to come, we're gonna take the feet out so you're just going side to side with those knees, bending knees. Okay, so we're gonna take that right arm over and the elbow comes back in toward your rib cage. So reach it over, pull it in. Now you have to have a grip on that ball, whatever you're taking over. Okay, so that's where we're working the hands. It's a great stretch for your sides. 
And let's switch. Here we go. Over. Back in. Elbow comes in toward your rib cage. Reach in. Reach. More. And rest. Okay, with those feet out, hold on to the ball. We're squatting, uh -huh, I know. And we're going to take it over one shoulder. So I'm squatting, I'm squeezing the ball when it's low, I'm squeezing it forward right in front of those shoulders, and you're just alternating one at a time. If you're getting tired of those squats by now, you can just take a modification. Not quite as low. If you're rearing to go, get down there. Get after it. Bigger the move, the higher the heart rate. And last one. Good. Okay, right foot, right foot is back. Right hand has the ball. We're going to bring it in, tap, reach it out. Tap, out, tap, out. Now, if you want to bring that knee in, and reach it out. You can always bring the knee in and still tap back or take it fully suspended. How are we doing? And rest. It's hard for me to look that way with the camera and go that way. Keeps things interesting. Challenging my balance extra. All right, here we go. Tap it in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, now drive the knee. And you can tap it back if you want to. Drive the knee, tap back. Or you can suspend it completely. In, out, in, out. Four, reach. Three, reach. Two, reach. One, and rest. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the chair. So if you put things on the chair, I want you to move everything off. Just set it on the floor by you. Grab a drink. Notice the theme is a lot of drinking of water. Water, that is. Okay. You can take that ball between your legs. Go ahead and take it there. Yeah, that's our last round of squats. Um, we're going to take it down on three counts, come up on that last count. Okay, so watch yourself as you come down. Just take it small amounts. Here we go. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, up. Down, two, three, up. If you need to be sitting right now because you're darn tired, you sit down and extend one leg at a time out. Two, three, up. Down, two, three, up. Down, two, three, up. Last one. Down, two, three, and up. Have a sit. Okay. So what I was telling you is if, if you're watching the video and you're doing this over and over, if you want to just take one leg at a time and extend it, that works fine, especially if sometimes you're just done with squats. I just kind of like them a lot. Okay, now take the ball behind your back if you have a ball, and you're just going to massage your back. Tell them if you have a ball, you're going to love this. This is everybody's favorite part. Good. And take it down. Okay, scoot toward the front of the chair. Now again, make sure that you have a pretty good balanced chair. Extend one leg in front, chest lifted. We're gonna just hinge at the hips. You're not rounding toward that foot. Because if you round toward the foot, you're putting too much stress on that low back. We don't want that. Keep that chest lifted, reach it out shoulder height. Very important. Breathe in and exhale. You should feel that stretch down the back of your leg, maybe in your calf. Breathe in and exhale. Now everybody's built different, so you may feel it in a different place. Don't worry, it's okay. Switch legs, reach it out, breathe it in, and exhale. Breathe it in, exhale, hold. Okay, we're gonna reach underneath that right leg. Just want you to point and flex that foot. So just point that toe toward the floor and then toward the ceiling. Okay, now from here, I want you to make a smiley face for me. Okay, smiley face. We need that these days, don't we? We need more smiles. Hopefully you're doing this workout so you can uh, get in good shape. 
Well, you've got a little time on your hands. Some of you that are retired, you can just do it anytime you want. Uh, now, if you have hip replacements, sometimes they recommend that you not cross your legs. So if you want to crop and keep your feet set here, you can cross at the ankle or you can take it up and over. Now we're going to keep the spine nice and tall. I want you to rotate to the side. Good. Take it down. Now we're coming underneath that other leg. So point and flex first. Now point the toes. Smiley face. We will get through this all. Favorite saying, this too shall pass, and it's fine. And now crisscross the feet together, crisscross at the ankle, or take it over, nice and tall with that spine, and rotate. So you're rotating toward the leg that's up on top. If your leg's not up, it's just rotate to the left this time. Good. And back to center. Okay, take those feet down. Okay, we're gonna heel toe out, and back in. And out, and back in, good, hands in front, palms toward me, deep breath in, fill your lungs, on the exhale, I want you to tuck your chin, round your back, and reach your arms out in front of you, good, breathe it in, lungs, and exhale, breathe in, Arms out to the side, take it down, circle forward, take it backwards. Now reach back for your chair. Again, if you have arms on the chair, it might not work as well, but open up the chest, drop your chin to your chest. Kitchen chair tends to work well for this exercise. So good. Now try it. take your right ear, right shoulder. Never force anything. Drop your chin, left ear, left shoulder. Drop that chin. Head comes up to neutral. Oh, no shoulders. All right. Three deep breaths in. Up through the middle. And exhale. Breathe it in. And exhale. Last one. Breathe in. And exhale. Wonderful job today. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully it'll make your day go a little faster, keep you on schedule with life. And uh, again, this too shall pass. Have a great one. Thanks.